We have a question from Bill Mine the Fifth. I hope I pronounced that right, Bill. I'm changing from Power Ones to Slicks, <clears throat> which obviously have a different profile. Should I do anything to the suspension prior to changing it at the track? Thank you for the question. One of the things missing in regards to your question is what brand of slicks are you going to? Are you staying with Michelin, going to Dunlops, Pirelli's, etc.? So, hard to answer the question in regards to that. If you are obviously going to the same brand, then the carcass of the tire is actually going to be very similar, even though the treaded pattern has gone away as you've gone to a slick. So, if the carcass is the same, and that may be true of not only the Michelin, but the Dunlop as well, then you may find that in terms of suspension, you won't need to make any substantial changes. However, what you have to consider when you're changing from a DOT to a slick is the physical circumference of the tire once it's inflated and on the rim. Is the tire bigger in overall circumference or is it smaller? <clears throat> Are they both bigger or both smaller? and is the front or rear smaller than before, etc. So you have all these combinations of tires comforts that you have to worry about. That changes chassis pitch in that the back of the bike may suddenly be significantly lower. The back of the bike may be significantly higher, putting more weight on the front of the bike. So the way that the bike handles and turns and accelerates could be substantially different. I hear a lot of people talking quietly of how they put some tires on and the tires were really not that good at all. The bike handled terribly. Well, what they're missing is not necessarily a suspension change, but they're missing that the chassis geometry got altered to an extent where they were uncomfortable on the bike. And because they were uncomfortable, then obviously you're in a negative environment and as such, the bike doesn't handle the same, you can't relax, you fight the bike, so everything goes south into a horrible black hole. But unfortunately, they don't use objective opinions based on information they could have on hand. So, for all of you that are out there wondering about changing brands, if you go from a soft carcass tire to a hard carcass tire, or vice versa, you must make suspension changes. If you go from a hard carcass tire to a hard carcass tire between brands, you need to make geometry changes. So overall, understand what you have, understand the pitch of your motorcycle geometrically. Go ahead and measure the circumference of the tire. You can use something as simple as a piece of string accurately put around the middle of the tire once it's installed and inflated and keep a database so that you know when you have to put some other tires on because your favorite brand and size is not available what happened to my bike and how do I fix it and is it geometry only as a fix or is it geometry and suspension thanks very much for your question Bill much appreciated if you have any questions for me please send them through Facebook to Dave Marsh Tuning Thanks very much.